Hello and welcome to another video. Here we're going to be simplifying the enzymes that are involved in liver function tests. So these are known as checking your LFTs. So your liver function tests are primarily involving a few crucial enzymes that are produced in the liver. And actually, uh, some of them are specific to the liver whereas some of them are not so specific. So we'll get into that. But uh, before we start, um, I ask you to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe and let's get into it. So the actual anatomy of the bile ducts involve both the cystic duct, the hepatic duct and the common bile duct as well. And what happens is that we have, we actually have these hepatocytes and Within these, let's say if this is the hepatocyte that is lining, let's say this is lining the common duct here. If these hepatocytes are lining it, inside the hepatocytes, you will be able to find these liver enzymes. And so with the hepatic um, enzyme, with the hepatic enzymes, these are going to be, with your hepatic duct, you are going to get ALT and AST. Now, um, this over here would be more to do with your biliary enzymes here and your biliary tree. So just remember, this is to do with your biliary tree. So next, when you have your um, ALT enzyme, this is known as alanine transaminase and aspartate amino transferase here. Now, if you remember that ALT has an L in it, that is what makes it specific to the liver. Okay, that, that's how I remember that it's specific for the liver. So while ALT is only produced by the liver, AST is produced by different parts of our body, including like the kidney and the heart as well. You can find it there. You can find it there, okay? So while AS, ALT is specific for the liver, remember that because it has an L in it, AST is non-specific. But when you have damage to these hepatocytes, naturally you are going to get leakage of these particular enzymes. And when these enzymes leak out, that is how we will know what exact um, disease, what our patient is going through. So what our patient, uh, what is the underlying pathophysiology in that particular patient? So, um, yep, so that's ALT, this is AST, aspartate immune transferase. Here's alkaline phosphatase and GGT. Now, these two are more specific for cholestatic reasons or biliary tree, for the biliary tree. So, if your patient then presents with a raised ALT, that gives you a clue. You, as a doctor, have to take that as a clue to mean that there is some kind of problem that is specific to the liver. If, however, the patient has, um, it, and it also matters about whether ALT is increased more than AST, okay, or whether AST is increased more than ALT, okay. So, in the case of, let's consider this, in the case of ALT increased more than AST. This is liver specific. This liver specific and often in the case of hepatitis, commonly viral hepatitis. So I'm just going to put viral hep. However, if AST is more is raised more. So in both cases, both enzymes are being raised, ALT and AST. But let's say ALT is raised more, so two arrows. Let's say this is at 100, 100 more. This is only 40 or 50 more. But in this case, if AST is raised more than ALT, this is often a sign of alcoholic, okay? Some alcoholic underlying pathology um, which may include alcoholic hepatitis, okay? So, when it comes to cholestatic or biliary reasons, so when it comes to this, the enzymes here, so the, these include alkaline phosphatase and GGT. Now, if, um, let's say, if you have, um, let's go over here, 
Okay, so if you have a more than 10 times increase in ALT, remember this one was the specific to our liver, this is hepatocellular injury confirmed. So that confirms your hepatocellular injury, okay? However, if you have that along with ALP raised, now remember, this is alkaline phosphatase. This is very, very specific. It can occur in either when there's kind of like ischemic damage, infarction, some kind of necrosis to the gallbladder. This is found in the biliary tree, also around the gallbladder. Okay, so that would then indicate a problem with the biliary system. So yeah, it's meant to be a cross and it's referred to as cholestasis. Okay, cholestasis. Now, um, I told you the ratio was important. Remember, AST more than ALT. So you can have either ALT raised way more than AST. This indicates viral hepatitis. Or if you have AST, AST more than ALT, this indicates alcoholic hepatitis. However, if you have, let's say, just an alkaline phosphatase increase, that does not mean that there is uh, specifically liver damage because these enzymes are the most specific to liver and even most is the ALT, which is the most specific to the liver. Okay, now, um, what are the ranges? So, it's actually 8 to 40, it's 8 to 40 microliter, micro but I'm rounding it up to 10 to 40 for the sakes of this video. Sometimes it's easier to remember these whole numbers with zeros on the end. So just, just for understanding. If ALT is raised more than 10 times this value, so 100, that would then confirm hepatocellular injury. Okay? Okay. But... So that's that's confirmation here. If alkaline phosphatase is raised more than three times the upper limit, so more than three times 150, so around 450, that is what would then indicate a biliary system damage, a biliary called bladder issue. OK, that would then indicate a cholestasis. One more thing in alcoholic hepatitis, AST is like three times increase compared to ALT. It's three to one or even two to two to one, but it is increased either twice or three times. So just remember all these values. Remember 10 to 40, 10 to 40, and then this one goes 40. Remember, if you remember 10 to 40, 40 to 150. Okay, um, hope that was useful. Please like and subscribe and until the next one.